Alive Church family, just want to say a massive thank you on behalf of Christians around the world facing persecution for your faithfulness and your partnership. The work of Open Doors as part of the One Church Partnership is really to put the hand of a live church into the hand of the church in Southeast Asia and to create a, create a partnership of prayer and to create a partnership of practical support. But this partnership is about strengthening the church, that's through leadership and discipleship resources, through provision of Bibles, and enabling the church to be the hands and feet of Jesus. So thank you for all your partnership, practically and financially, but also prayerfully, and just serving the church there and inspiring the church through your partnership. So thank you. When my parents found out and the neighbors found out and then the government authorities found out, I was taken to court and uh, my pregnancy out of wedlock was charged as a crime and for this crime I was put in prison. I was given uh, lashes. Because of all this, uh, I, I gave up uh, to my major child. I was trying to live a normal life and spe especially trying to uh, keep a secret about the book I read about uh, my relationship with the uh, Lord Jesus. But you know, you can't hide the Lord. He's a bright, shining light. And uh, soon my parents found out, soon neighbors found out, and soon it was heard by the religious authorities. And I was taken to questioning. And when I was in front of uh, people that were questioning me, whether all this was true, that I have read the, the Bible and whether I have believed in Lord Jesus, I knew I should not say yes. But in spite of myself, I found myself saying, yes, that I want to follow Lord Jesus. My main ministry is uh, hospitality. People from my country comes where I am for medical treatment. So I open my house for them. I provide for them a free place to stay and free food, and also go with them as a medical guide and a translator. And it is at times hard because these very people will sometimes not want to eat with me because I'm the follower of Jesus. Thank you so much for everyone who is praying. I know that there have been people who have been praying for me for years and have never uh, ever met me, and, uh, but they continuously pray. And I just want to thank them uh, for their faithfulness to the Lord. I'm not able to go back to my community, even though time passes, I will never get used to that. It's painful, but I also know that I belong to the community God and I do and so the prayer is will you pray for us will you pray for us that we would continue to be faithful to Jesus in the midst of our circumstances that's what I hear time and time again don't pray for us but pray with us as part of us as a body that we would be faithful to Jesus just as we pray with you that you'd be faithful to Jesus that's a beautiful phrase there, but it's also really challenging and it, and it further unites us that we are all together as one body in the ministry of the kingdom, in the ministry of the gospel of Jesus Christ. So please, as you pray uh, for Christians around the world, please pray with them. And I pray that also you will be inspired in your faithfulness to Jesus because of your partnership and because of...